vlog is brought to you guys by Vaseline Clinical Care. I recently announced to you guys on my Instagram page and in a couple of vlogs that I am partnering with Vaseline on the launch of their Vaseline Clinical Care line. I'm so excited you guys because I am the driest chick on the planet. We've talked about this. I have tried so many different lotions to try to treat my dry skin. The part that mostly affects me is the, the cosmetic part, right? Like nobody wants to appear dry and ashy. It kind of makes you look like you're kind of irresponsible with moisturizing your skin or something. I don't know, but I feel like it's not cute to appear ashy. So I was so excited to learn about this new line that Vaseline has just launched and I was more than thrilled to be a part of that launch. So let's get into this video. So this product claims to transform skin from very dry to healed in five days. That's a heck of a claim. So the whole point of this vlog is I wanna bring you guys along on my five day journey, kinda of share with you guys my experience of healing my skin. So I tried these products over the course of five days according to the directions. So you guys, I must say, my skin is 10 times better. Like I mentioned before, I have tried products in the past to try and treat my dry skin. You guys, it runs in my family. We suffer from eczema, extremely dry skin, in the winter, spring, summer, and fall, you guys. So I have tried everything. What I've mostly found is with products that claim to address dry skin issues, it's either extremely greasy or extremely watery. I do not want a product that's going to transfer onto my pillow sheets and things. I don't want a product that's going to ruin my outfit. I don't want a product that's gonna make me feel like I'm treating my dry skin. I wanna treat my dry skin and then go out into the world and not think about it again. I don't wanna be thinking all day about how this greasy stuff is all over my body. These products don't do that. So that's the main thing I would say is the benefit of this. The second thing you guys is that it actually works. Over the course of the five days, probably by day like two and a half, I really started to see some results. And not only was my skin moisturized, right? Looked good, felt good, felt really good, actually felt really nice to the touch. But you guys, here's something that, I don't know if Vaseline Clinical Care knows about their products yet, but from my personal experience, in between washes, my hands actually maintained that moisturized feel, and I've never experienced that before with any product. So everyone feels nice right after they put on the lotion, but how good do you feel after you've washed your hands like two more times after that? Doesn't it seem like the product is washed away and your hands are back feeling dry? Girl, not with this product. So do I recommend these products to you guys? Absolutely, honey. You guys, I love these products and I highly, highly recommend them if you have extremely dry skin. And you've tried other products and they haven't worked and you've had similar experiences to me, you guys, you have got to give this product a try. So in this video, I have documented five days using these products. So if you guys wanna see my experience across five days using Vaseline Clinical Care, the Extremely Dry Skin Rescue Moisturizing Lotion, then keep on watching. Hey, you guys. So this is the Vaseline clinical care line, you guys. It's so exciting. I got all of these products I'm going to be trying. There's an aging skin rescue healing moisture lotion. There is a dark spot rescue moisturizing hand cream and an eczema calming therapy cream. Ooh. So I'm going to be focusing this vlog on the extremely dry skin rescue products. So this is the one that promises to transform skin from very dry to healed in five days. And I feel like the best way to measure these results is on these hands, girl. No matter what I do, my hands are always super dry, especially in this Chicago weather, and I'm always washing my hands, I'm always doing my hair, doing my daughter's hair. I'm always washing my hands, and so they stay dry. Also, my feet, my thighs, and my legs. Probably the driest places on my body. So like I said, I'm gonna take you guys through my five day journey and I'm gonna start day one tonight once I take my shower before bed. So I'm gonna be starting off my journey, you guys, at night using my overnight cream here. And then I'm going to go about the day using this healing moisture lotion. And I'm also going to be trying out this foot cream, you guys. So it's gonna be a head to toe assessment on whether or not I feel that my skin has transformed in just five days. So I am really looking forward to this. I just took my shower and I'm about to apply this extremely dry skin rescue overnight cream. This is supposed to combine Vaseline jelly, glycerin, and prolipids to strengthen skin's moisture barrier. try this now on my feet. I 
as of right now, I mean, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel greasy. I was a little bit worried about that with, you know, getting into my bed tonight because I don't want to ruin my sheets. I actually just wash them. So that was something that I'm definitely going to be looking to make sure it does not happen. And I obviously want to keep an eye out for results. I mean, I absolutely want to see a difference in my skin, especially my hands and my legs. Normally when I lotion up, I am not clothed at all. So obviously I got to keep this PG for the internet, but normally I would just lotion up right out of the shower, but I gave myself a few minutes because the instructions say you need to apply the stuff to dry skin. So I waited a few. I am really anxious to see how this clinical care line is gonna work on somebody who pretty much was born with dry skin. So um, that's it for today. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing for tomorrow. So good night. You can absolutely tell that there's a difference in these formulas because the Cracked Heel Rescue actually feels a lot thicker. Both are working pretty well so far. Okay guys, it is I believe day three of my five day Vaseline Clinical Care Challenge. I just got out of the shower. I'm still wearing my bath towel. <laughs> so let's see how this feels. I can say this though already, no, we're not at the end of the challenge yet, um, but already I am feeling some major results, you guys, with these products. The other night I tried the overnight cream right before bed, and remember I was worried about the product transferring onto the sheets, and I did not have any issues with the overnight cream. So let's go ahead and apply the Extremely Dry Skin Rescue. It's just really funny because um, lubricating the skin has always been a really big deal in my family all while we were growing up. So using, you know, Vaseline products and petroleum jelly, you know, on the skin was just always something that we grew up doing. And it's just so funny because one of my best friends, she has perfect skin, um, perfectly moisturized skin. She doesn't have any issues with being ashy or dry or just absolutely no body skin issues. And I remember one time she was like, I can't believe you put on lotion every single day. And I was like, well, I have to because if not, I'm going to be really ashy and it's just going to be unsightly and crusty and bad. And she was like, so you mean to tell me if you're running late for work, you're still going to put on lotion? And I was like, yeah. All right, you guys, so I put lotion all over my body and I'm just going to apply some of the Cracked Hill Rescue cream to my feet and then I'll be done with my lotion routine. Good morning, you guys. It is day four of my five-day Vaseline Clinical Care Challenge, and I just wanted to share with you guys some really quick thoughts about the products so far. So I just took my shower, as you can kind of see. I'm about to do my hair and head out and all that good stuff, and I just got done applying the Extremely Dry Skin Rescue product to my full body from basically face to feet because I put it on my face today. Normally I use a different uh, cream for my face, but I went ahead and used it just because I was, you know, just feeling it. I put it over my hands and down to my feet and everything, you guys. Now, so far, y'all, I'm kind of shook about this product because I told you guys the driest areas on my body right now and has always been the case is my hands and my lower body, but my hands being the number one culprit, honey, super super dry because i'm always doing stuff with my hands working on stuff repairing drywall putting chairs together and this and that i've just always been like really handy um and so my hands really always suffer but what i can say about this lotion so far is that it really is treating my hands um because in between uh lotioning right so when i've washed my hands and maybe i don't put lotion on right away usually my hands get really 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 extremely obviously dry to the point where they feel kind of slick. They feel like slick to the touch because that's just how dry they are. You guys, with this lotion, it, it's, it's been treating my hands. So in between lotioning, my hands are actually still really moisturized. So that barrier complex that Vaseline talks about on these products, it actually, it has to be true because I can just feel the difference with my hands. And this is usually the driest area right in there. And I can really, 
I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference, you guys. It feels like the product is actually improving the way my skin retains moisture. And I feel like that has got to be what is happening. Um, because my skin has never been able to be moisturized in between putting lotion on. Like, I'm usually fine when I get the lotion on, at least for a little while. But this is actually helping me to stay moisturized throughout the day, even when I've washed my hands and seemingly removed the moisturizing product. So that is key for someone with skin like me, you guys. That is actually kind of game changing for me. So let's see, we got one more day to go with this treatment. Let's see how I feel at the end. But so far, you guys, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's day five of this Vaseline Clinical Care Extremely Dry Skin Rescue Challenge and I just got out of the shower and I'm about to apply my lotion. This is the 13 and a half fluid ounce bottle of my Extremely Dry Skin Rescue, you guys, and I'm so excited because I use a lot of this stuff, so this size is uh, really gonna do me well. I'm just gonna take off my rings first per my jeweler he's like stop putting lotion on when you're wearing your rings so i'm just going to apply a couple of pumps onto my hand by a couple i mean like 13. and i love the pump on these products too this is actually really really cool it's like no mess Guys, it just feels so good going on. I don't know about you all, but right out of the shower, my skin is its most dry because it's absolutely clean with no product and it's just skin that has air dried and it's its most dry and it's so dry sometimes it feels slick, like it feels like a sheet of loose leaf notebook paper. So once I put this product on, girl, it just feels like the healing is instantaneous. I am ready for my day, honey. It feels so nice. So that's my experience, you guys. Like I said, I highly recommend these products to you all. I hope that you did enjoy this video. And it's not over, because I'm on my way to the Vaseline Airstream Experience. Girl, I'm going to the Vaseline Clinical Care truck in Chicago. So that's where I'm on my way to right now, and I am going to bring you guys along. So let's go. You guys, look how bundled up I am. I wanted to be cute and wear my little Akira coat, um, right? But I don't want to be cold, so only reason I'm able to get away with this coat is because I have on that big old blazer underneath. But I got my blanket scarf on and I am ready to go, honey. I'm just waiting for my Uber. And on my lips, I'm wearing antique velvet. A very nice festive color, right? Kind of cute. Okay, I am headed out. I'm wearing my sunglasses from my November box. You guys, uh, so cute. Girl, I feel cute. I feel cute. I'm here at the truck. Let's see, let's see. This is so cool, it's like a little vintage little wagon. This is so cool and it's a great location. Right here in the heart of all of the downtown Magnificent Mile shopping and stuff. So the whole idea of this truck is um, Clinical Care Line is to save your skin from the cold and so they're doing tests on everyone's skin and then offering them free products to address their skin issues. So I think that's really cool. And it's a little bit of a line forming here. So yeah, really cool. I'm putting my posts up now. All right, so I'm about to leave the Airstream. I'm just gonna return this portable charger I was borrowing from one of the guys, one of the staff members. I was over there in the Apple store 
working on my content. All right, let me see here. Hey! What's up, girl? How are you? Hi, say hi! <laughs> No, I'm not. I just wanted to dip in and come and meet people from Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay, girl, I'm leaving. I just said my goodbyes to everyone. It was so nice. That was a really fun activation, even though I was freezing my butt off. But, um, you know, you know, like I always say, cold happens. You cannot let, you know, the cold air stop you from working or having fun or whatever. That was cool. Now I'm just going to kill a couple hours before the dinner. Um, and before I meet up with Nini and everything, so I think I'm gonna do some light, light, light shopping um, and probably grab some coffee, which is probably what I'll do first. Hi. They were staring at me with my camera, and I'm like, What's up, girl? How you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab some coffee first so I can warm up, and then I'm probably gonna pop into some of the stores because y'all downtown, like, that's where all the shopping is. We are on the Magnificent Mile, so. If you're gonna shop, this is where you're gonna do it. Done with my coffee, and I'm just gonna get a cab over to the restaurant. Come on, good evening. Where are you going to, Donna? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful you too. Yeah, so I didn't go shopping because I ended up just sitting in Starbucks the whole time, having a coffee, killing my phone battery. <laughs> so I'm headed over to have the dinner. I wish I had gone shopping though. Um, it was so tempting now that I'm riding through here. All the stores look so nice. But I'll save that for another day. All right, I'm here. Oh, nice and warm, yes. I'm waiting on everybody to get here, so I might as well order a drink. I love this so much. So the gang's all here, Nini got here. <laughs> Everybody's just getting to know each other and eating um, appetizers and having drinks. Y'all, these, these um, margaritas are off the chain. Real dangerous. Like, this I'm on, This is my second one and that's it for me, that's it. I'm her beauty designated driver. Yes, yes. Lots of veggie and vegan options. Really, really cool. Me and Nini, you know what I'm saying? My man, milk him, I'm like, mm, <laughs> She said milk life. 